fans have been waiting for this all day long, and it's finally here. The moment of truth, EASHL club action. after that hit. Here we go! A pass! Oh, what a save! In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Can't connect! Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Slides it diagonally to Aldridge. Moves it on over to Jordan. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. And that pass goes off a stick. Takes that pass back at the point. Here's a short pass to Watson. Blocked in front. Puck picked up by Jerome. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Lehman. Oh, what a hit. Quick stop by Lehman. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Worst nightmare. He's got the puck against the wall. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines, and this goaltender whoop, does a great job of making it happen. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Oh, CP, you know what he wanted there. Just came up a little wide. Well, JC certainly did. He pulled it into his body, and as he corralled it, he left. It rip, but hockey's a game of inches, and that one just misses. And we play on. Moves it quickly over to Watson. With possession along the wall. With the stop. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Worst nightmares got the puck inside the offensive zone. Going after that loose puck by any means necessary. Germany's on the attack. The Czechs gain possession. From the neutral zone now. Taken by Nagy. Chris shot from the slot. Nagy's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Let's get the official decision. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping goal. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and it got into the skates. Tripping is the call. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. First power play opportunity of the game, and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Quick pass to Jerome. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Grabs it in his own end. And it's a quick pass to Davos. A chance at court! And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up, clearing that one. Watson standing up, ready to go. Still anyone's game as the power play comes up empty-handed. You can have all the ozone possession time on a power play in the world and you don't convert. Why? Because that's where you have it, on the outside. You have to find ways to create seams, diagonal lines to the net.
net, be able to shoot off the pass and get scoring opportunities. Germany's got possession here in their own end. Great face-off win by the center. Now they can get out of their zone and get a change. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Jerome. Slides the puck to Watson. Uses the force on that hit. Quick feed down low. And he moves it up to Aldridge. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. The Czechs have it now. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. In the final moments of this period, still no score in this one. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Worst nightmare. has got control of it now from their own end. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Moves it to Jerome. And that's offside, stopping the play. And they win that neutral zone draw. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. There's the whistle. We've got it offside. sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end as you heard the horn sound we'll be back with much much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight one play. What do you make of this one? No one really being instinctually aggressive out there, James. Everyone just making sure that they're in good defensive posture. But when you're in that kind of structure, sometimes you don't jump and the loose puck is there for the taking and you don't get going more. As a result, there haven't been many shots in this game. And I gotta say, it's not very entertaining. Denies him on the slapper. Tries to feed it over to Jerome. Scores! Redirected in and it's behind the tippy. Well, not surprised here. And I call this Courageous tip, James, because you gotta get net front with good timing. You gotta fight for a position. You gotta be physical in there, and then you gotta find a way to execute by getting onto the puck. 
Well, he's one of the best in the game, and to be an efficient tipper, you have to have the dexterity to find that puck with your stick, and man, does he ever have it. And that's a perfect example of getting to position, fighting for it, and the hand-eye coordination to pull it off. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Ostrava's ahead, 1-0. Davos wins the draw at center. Handles the pass at center. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Germany's got the puck in their own end. Davos is so dangerous in the O-zone. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. Jabs the puck away. And he slides it quickly to Tommy. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Slides it on over to Jordan. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one-goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Moves the puck down low. On the attack along the boards. the shot and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net back to the point it goes turns him away Wagner's gonna hang on for a whistle and stay focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here Cheryl well, part of their mental preparation as a goaltender even when you're not busy you have to stay dialed in follow the action he's doing exactly that and he makes a nice cover back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone There's a shot! Didn't get all of it, but just got enough of it with the trapper. The Czechs will play on their own end. Laying the body. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Ostrava's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity, and really, timing is everything, so they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the board. Fantastic save! Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end! They have really got the cycle going now! The Czechs gain possession along the wall.
puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key save that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Worst nightmare has got the puck against the half wall. And that goes straight over the net. And I'm not sure he had full control of that puck, James, because he elevated in a hurry. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. Welcome back, James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. And we are underway here in the third, still tied. Germany's gained the line and into the zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. There's the whistle, offside is the call. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Jordan's called for tripping. He's off to the box. back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They've practiced. They know what they're doing. It'll come. Angles it over to Tommy. Picked up along the wall by Jerome. Moves it to Davos. And that skips. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is out. Absolutely stunned. What a stop. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Clearing attempt. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Feeds it to Tommy. To the low slot. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Penalty coming up here. Davos may not like it, but a pretty cut and dry call for the officials for interference. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. A few ways to play a four-on-four. -four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sends the pass down low. Centering pass! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Wagner's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under siege, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Worst nightmares won the faceoff. Quick feed to Aldridge. Takes a shot. Drops it with the glove. And we get a whistle the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Tommy's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. They win the draw and go on the attack. And that's enough to win the defensive end by Jerome. Takes the puck along the boards. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. Well, you can see the frustration and the body language in him right now. That's the second penalty he's taken this period, James. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. 
Not typically that we see four on four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of, they know what they're doing, they want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. And he comes up with it. And he maintains possession of the puck here. The score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry in your skating practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution, and it winds up as a goal. Worst nightmares got the go-ahead goal here in period number three. Well, and they'll certainly want to win this face-off, James, because they've dominated in terms of possession. When they get it, they don't give it up easily. That's how they scored that last goal. Watson's taking it from his own end. so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice and then he just misses. Take it along the wall by Jerome. Both teams back to even strength and after giving up a short-handed goal, it's an opportunity the power play unit will probably sooner forget. The expectation when you're on a power play is to score a goal, not give up one, James. This is a tough one to take for this group. Deep inside his own end. Right in front. Can he get out of pressure? Travis got possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Tommy. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Oh, and surfs up a little too sweet with that save. Worst nightmares looking to break out. Tries to get the puck to Jordan. Quick feed down low. Inside the offensive zone, takes the pass from along the boards. Wagner's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Germany's been going in one direction all night long, and that's to the net, and they lead it in this third. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck to Jordan. Estrada's looking to break out of their own end. Slick feed. Moves it quickly over to Davos. Scoops up the puck here. Sends the pass over. They've got the defense outnumbered. Oh, and he whiffs. The Czechs will play it from the defensive zone. Nagy's got it through center. Ostrava's on the attack. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Play with the dead penalty coming up. This is a tough situation to be in. You're frustrated. You're taking your third penalty of the period. You got to kill it, reset, and find a way to push on. Ostrava's got a huge opportunity on this power play. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. And he takes the pass. Worst nightmares got possession while under man. And they clear that puck. Nice poke check. Quick pass to Davos. Lowers the boom with that hit. Oh, that's using the body there on the block. They get it out of the defensive end. Moves it to Jerome. Ostrava's got the puck against the boards. Quick feed to Nagy. Both teams back to even strength here. I get that you're not going to score on every man advantage, but boy, they would have loved to have scored on that one. Well, when you have the player advantage and you're down by a goal, you have to generate some momentum. And the first stop is putting it in the back of the net, and now they're back at even strength, trying to get back on the board. From off the wall and onto a stick. Ostrava's got the puck inside the defensive zone and tries to make a diagonal pass to Tommy. And now it's grabbed by Jerome. Takes the feed and center moves up ahead. Nagy's got it against the boards. Germany's got a hold of the puck now. Aldridge 
his pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles and he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Worst nightmare. He's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a chance. The late penalty looming. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Really tough call to take. I mean, it's the end of the third period. You're down by a goal. You've got to find a way to generate some offense, and now you wind up shorthanded.